terms of the squad, Paul, you've got a wee update and who's fit, who's not fit? Yeah, we're all good. We're all good other than uh, the long-term injuries. Uh, no, we're fine. We are actually fine. <laughs> I'm trying to think there. Uh, but no, it's just the long-term ones. Everybody else is fine. Form going into this game, you must be pretty happy when defeating eleven. Yeah, 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 that defeat obviously came at Ibrox as well, so it's, it's been a good run for us uh, at the moment. We're in a good place, especially at home. Our home form's been great. Uh, so in terms of uh, where we are at the minute, we're in a good place. Obviously, recruitment in January's been pretty good as well, and our additions to the squad have, have made us stronger again, which is which is a bonus. I mean, you look at the bench the other night and the players that come on, it's uh, make a brilliant difference uh, when you've got that competition. So we've added that in January, so hopefully for the uh, foreseeable future in terms of the, the rest of the season, it'll help us that. You know how difficult it is for teams out with the Firm to win the league, but the Scottish Cup must be something Kilmar can uh, target this season? Yeah, I think every club uh, out with the Old Firm, obviously there's the demands on them winning uh, every competition for our, ourselves, it's important that you, you try and get to Hamden in, in these Cups, League Cup obviously and the, the Scottish Cup, so it's, it's certainly an avenue that you look to, to try and bring success to the club and, and we're no different to any other team out with the old firm that this is an opportunity for us to try and go into the latter stages of these competitions and we'll do all we can to try and do that obviously. Do you ever get fed up talking about 2000 when you were part of the Inverness team? Was the big shot <laughs> no, I don't actually. <laughs> I like to say I do, and that's it's nice memories. It's nice memories, uh, and it shows you what can happen. Obviously, that the upsets do happen, and, and Cove will come here determined to to be one of the clubs to cause an upset. Uh, they're obviously a well experienced team, uh, a lot of experience throughout the leagues in terms of football that they've played. We've got a couple of uh, brilliant strikers. Meganson scored goals regularly for many years now and, and Roman will obviously know who's uh, shown his potential now at, at the level he's at and scoring goals and uh, we know they carry a threat in, in many areas of the pitch so we'll be ready for that, we'll be ready, we've obviously done our work uh, and, and hopefully that will stand us in good stead uh, not to allow a shock uh, come tomorrow. When you go back to that night was there genuine belief you could have won the, 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 uh, the, the cup tie? Uh, there was belief because you, you always have to believe as players that there was a kind of, I know Paul spoke about no feeling any real pressure, which is again understandable. And I think at that stage we had that kind of mindset that there wasn't any great deal of pressure on us. Nobody expected us, obviously, when we were there to, to do anything within that game. So that, that takes a wee bit. Uh, edge off it and you can go and just try and enjoy it as much as you can and, and obviously the, the way it worked out was something that nobody really expected <sighs> did we expect it? Probably not but I think as the game wears on and you, and you have that opportunity the kind of belief grows Do you get reminded of that on a, a regular basis over, have you been over the years? Uh, yeah I mean it, it comes up it, it comes up this this time of year when the Scottish Cup. It's obviously it's dug out. It was a, a momentous occasion for the, the club. They were obviously uh, a relatively new club to the leagues, and uh, I think that was part and parcel of the the shock as well that the uh, club hadn't been uh, in uh, really. I think it was four or five years maybe that they had came into fruition in terms of the, the two clubs merging. So I think that was part of the shock as well at that stage. Is that something you'll be reminding the players of that these things can happen unusually? Uh, no, I mean, but not personally, but I, I think we have to be prepared that, that shocks do happen. Uh, I, I wouldn't bore them with... We going back the years and, and my old journeyman career, so but we will prepare them in terms of it can happen and, and your attitude and your application has to be spot on. Uh, we know that that they'll come and that they'll set up a certain way and they'll do all they can. Paul's obviously experienced; he's he's been in the game a long time and and he'll do all he can to to try and cause that upset. And we, we'll, like I said already, we'll be ready to try and uh, negate that threat that they have. And there's an expectancy on Kelly to go through, isn't there? That's a bit more pressure than perhaps is there on a, a weekly basis. Uh, of course, there is. There's, there's the obviously the, the odds are stacked uh, against Cove, and that's the nature of the beast with the position there in the league. 
uh, albeit they're in a good position to, to make playoffs uh, in a tough league for them at the moment. So, uh, at the risk of repeating myself, we know we know what they'll come with. We know that upsets can happen, but hopefully, come uh, tomorrow, we won't allow that.